Hello and welcome to Volley Fit, our exclusive member program that's here to get you fit and ready to return to court stronger than before. So this 10-week plan will take your teammates on a progressive strength and conditioning journey tailored to volleyball with new content dropping every single week for the next 10 weeks. So there's no escape room, we're going through a tough period right now as a volleyball family and as a country. And we hope this program can give you something to focus on and challenge yourself and get yourself in the best condition possible for that glorious day when we can return to court. So as you work through this program, we'll be asking you to share updates, whether that's feedback, pictures, or even better, a bit of video, uh, to rally us all together and keep us on track. So keep an eye out for that as we'd love to hear from you. But before that first video lands and later this week, we want to give you a full introduction of what to expect from the experts themselves, our VolleyFit instructors, Alex Jenkins and Phil Spalding. So without further ado, I'll pass you on to Alex and Phil. Enjoy. Phil, Alex, thank you so much for coming on board then as, in, as instructors for VolleyFit. Um, really excited to get going on this. It's a great way to start the year, nice positive. Um, but before we dig into the detail then of the programme, do you mind just uh, first of all explain a bit about your, your experience and background? Alex, do you want to jump in first? Sure. Uh, yeah, so I guess my experience and background really starts with volleyball when I was around 14, 15 years old. I started playing because my mum and dad played. I thought I was going to be a footballer. I thought I was going to be the next Steven Gerrard, but alas, I'm not very good at football. So, uh, yeah, started playing volleyball. Uh, joined the national team when I was 15, 16. Uh, and since then, I've been playing volleyball pretty much full time. Um, been in part of the England senior team, uh, captained at a couple of tournaments for the England seniors. Went to Loughborough College to do my, well, A-levels there at the Volleyball Academy with uh, Volleyball England. And then moved on to Sheffield Hallam for my undergraduate, which I completed in sport and exercise science. Uh, and then moved to Northumbria University, Newcastle, uh, to do my master's in strength and conditioning. I've uh, been training volleyball full time and then I moved to Sweden after a master's to play professional volleyball. And also I've been the S&C coach for every team I've played for so far until this year. This year I moved to Uppsala, which is close to Stockholm. And now I'm a personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach with a few teams out of a gym uh, called UP, um, Ultimate Performance. And uh, yeah, basically that's my, my story up to now. Well, it's not called Ultimate Performance anymore, it's called Utveckling Centrum och Presentation, then I thought it'd be easier to say the old name because that sounds better in English. Easier for me to remember, certainly, yeah. yeah. So you're in Sweden right now? Yes, I'm in Sweden right now. Awesome, so fantastic um, CV. Phil, you've got an equally fantastic experience in CV as well. Do you mind just giving us a bit of an introduction? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sadly, I was never uh, as capable as Alex when it comes to volleyball. I'm a slightly smaller fella, uh, so my background's mainly sporting-wise in, in gymnastics and trampolining. But uh, I've spent the last 10 years as a strength and conditioning coach, working with a range of sports, uh, professional, semi-professional and amateur level. Uh, last couple of years, I've worked at various facilities and in the last year, I've set up my own facility, uh, which um, currently is going well as far as uh, as can be. Uh, in regards to volleyball, I've, I'm a bit more recent. Uh, over the last couple of years, I undertook a master's and uh, volleyball was my main research project. So looking at uh, the differences in jump performance between uh, men and women amateur volleyball players. Uh, but over this uh, this interesting lockdown period, I've been uh, tasked with uh, helping the England junior squad with uh, some of their strength conditioning through this time. So uh, I, that's how I've been integrated within this community. I like the word interesting. It's a good word to describe it. It's a nice, it's a nice sort of positive spin on it. Um, so well, thank you both for coming on board. Um, it's great to have you on board and your experience and really looking forward to get going. Um, Alex, so we're going to have a, a, a new video ex uh, uploaded every single week then for 10 weeks. So sort of exclusive as part of this SNC plan. Um, what, what can people expect from it? Just to start with a nice overall question. Yeah, that's a nice overall question. Uh, nice well, gonna, yeah, nice easy one to start with. Uh, well, so you're going to expect a lot of me talking, a lot of Phil doing movements. Uh, so that's something interesting to look forward to. Uh, I think one of the comments you said, Phil, was it, it, you felt like Michael Flatley. Was that right? <laughs> uh, not my words, but I'll take it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, no, it's, it's, I think it's going to be an interesting journey. We're going to try and take people through from kind of 
almost a warm up style, coordination style, kind of how you build up into simple plyometric movements and then build into more complex plyometric movements along kind of a pathway of from, I guess, simply simple to complex, really trying to look at creating power, how we land and mechanics, basically are three things we're really quite concerned about, making sure that people are moving correctly, making sure we can produce and use our body to the most efficient and effective way we can. And then how do we improve from there? Do we improve the physical? Do we improve the mechanical? Um, and we're going to do quite a lot of different angles on the camera. And I think that's very important for people to know from the start is we're going to try and voice over on top of that the important points to look out for in each of the planes of view. So I would suggest that people watch it once and just watch. Watch it a second time, just listen. Watch it a third time, listen and watch. So I think it's going to be kind of a short, sharp, three-time watch through and then try and repeat the movements. And Phil, so Alex touched a little bit then the way that it's going to be tailored to volleyball. Then you know, there's, there's obviously a lot of programs out there, a lot of ways to get stronger and improve your conditioning. But this is going to be a bit more tailored to volleyball. Uh, Alex touched on it a little bit there, the sort of the areas. But do you want to just sort of pick us up and, and tell us a little bit more about what people can expect? Yeah. So um, obviously, the the program is going to progress from you know more coordinated based movements all the way through to some fast plyometric movements where you're going to have to land and then reproduce force. And uh, so in terms of regards to volleyball, it's a lot about getting that time in the sequence for jumping, being able to get your centre of mass nice and high, and being able to propel yourself uh, nice and high. That getting that timing and sequencing so we can get uh, people jumping well, moving well. Uh, a lot of the coordination based moves will allow people to move well as well. So although a lot of the program will be based on jumping, landing forces, making sure they land correctly and also producing force when they're jumping. Uh, a, a lot of these things will also translate to moving uh, laterally for lost course as well. So in terms of how well can you stabilize your knee and your hip and your body and your center of mass around court. So although it'll be a lot of jumping based movements, it will translate to changing direction around court as well. So it'll be perfect for any position in volleyball. And who, who are we talking about? Who's the, sort of the audience here? Is it obviously the players are going to find this very useful? Um, Alex, coaches as well. And, and what about the sort of the, the, the kind of level from amateur to elite? Um, what kind of player do you think would, would most benefit from this program? Well, I, I think uh, you can take this into any level, but I think most predominantly we're going to be looking more towards the amateur and kind of the coaches, because quite a lot of these exercises are very implementable within warm-ups. I think one of the biggest things I've noticed from being a part of the volleyball community in England is that we have a lot of knowledge but a lot of the time we're, we're quite bad at sharing everything. Unfortunately, it's the way it is. Um, so I think this is a really good opportunity for coaches and players at the amateur level and coaches who are trying to come up through just to understand from a simple mechanical and biomechanical perspective how important simply being able to land is before we teach someone how to jump. Because we're going to ask someone coming out of lockdown to do maybe two, 300 jumps in a volleyball session. But if they have to land two, 300 times with a 1%, like they're taking 1% more force through a knee joint. Well, I don't know how that works mathematically, but if you times it by 200, that starts to hurt a little bit. So, I mean, quite a lot of this is around efficiency and movement. And I think it's going to be quite applicable to players at all levels, but mainly amateur and coaches to see, okay, well, am I doing this correctly? Well, maybe you might disagree with what me and Phil say, but that's that's also your own opinion. But I think it's good to to share knowledge on a simple level. But but keeping both those groups ticking over and getting them ready then for when we can return then, because um, it you know it, it is it is coming. There is that light at the end of the tunnel, um, and it's going to be a it's going to be a glorious day when it when it comes. Um, and so, what what will the participants have achieved then by week ten, Phil? So what we've got to remember is we've all had a long time away from volleyball. Um, so this program will allow people 
to get their bodies ready and uh, uh, and eased back into the uh, volleyball process. So building up jumps progressively, getting their tendons and ligaments used to the movements, absorbing force and working around there to the point where they, it's then becoming more performance orientated towards the end of the uh, of the 10 weeks. So by that point, they should be at a place where they can jump repeatedly, move well, and be able to produce some serious force so they can uh, take that onto court and uh, and jump as high as they possibly can. Be cool. I'll be looking forward to that. And so these videos will be there'll be new video released every single week, and it'll be uploaded to this sort of exclusive platform, and that only members will have access to. Um, as as you both described, there'll be the the video showing those exercises, but then also there'll be a nice voice over there. Um, and as part of this program, we're going to be organising a, a bit of a discussion for our webinar, just so we can. If, if you if, uh, go along with the program and you have some questions um, or you want some more advice, then there's that, that forum there so you can ask questions um, to Alex and Phil, who very kindly um, volunteered some more time for that. So thank you guys. Um, so Alex, Phil, Alex, we'll start with you. What are you most looking forward to then from this program? I guess, uh, well, you won't see much of me, so I guess I'm looking forward to talking a lot. No. <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking forward to giving something back to a community that's really given a lot to me. Um, I'm very grateful for the opportunities I've had, all of the countries I've managed to go to through being a part of the national team. Um, and I, yeah, I'm just looking forward to being able to, being in a position where I can actually give something back to the community and hopefully try and affect some change before they get back onto court, before everyone gets back to court and really put everyone on a good, strong foot to take advantage of maybe a short pre-season straight into vol. I don't know how it's going to work because I'm not part of the federation, but <laughs> really trying to make sure that we can take advantage of the opportunities when we get back and it's not going to be too much of a lull and we're not going to lose too many players through simple injuries that can be avoided. And Phil, the same for you. What are you most looking forward to? I think uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, people actually uh, get up to uh, by following the programme. So, I mean, if uh, if any of the members want to uh, film themselves and taking and taking part in the programme, I think that would be wonderful to see how uh, how they're progressing. I'm sure if they if uh, if we see any of those, I'm sure we'll be happy to offer our tips at some point as well. Um, and generally, just looking forward to people being able to get back and play because it's been a long time. Definitely. And on that social media side, there will be some opportunities for, for engagement and sharing photos and videos and stuff. So um, keep an eye out for that and please do get involved. And and so finally, guys, um, what would your words of motivation be for people then that are either definitely taking part in this or are thinking about um, committing to this sort of 10-week programme? Alex, again, we'll start with you. I think my, my, words, my words of advice to begin with would be Listen carefully, watch carefully and try to repeat it. And my best piece of advice would be if you don't film yourself doing it, you'll never, ever truly know what you look like doing a movement. I think the first time I did one of the first movements we're going to do is a marching movement. One of the first times I did this at university, I was like, I'm nailing this. And I did it in front of a mirror and I was like, oh, my God, what do I look like? So it, it, it's very important, this idea of feedback it comes through many, many forms and visual feedback is one of the most powerful tools we have. And everyone has a camera, everyone has a phone. Hopefully people have someone that they can work out with at home. If not, you can just put it up against the pillow. Um, but words of motivation, have fun with it. It's not there to be too hard. It's not there to be an extreme workout. It's there to show a lot of intent and enjoy the movements. Enjoy the movements, enjoy being active and just enjoy the process. And Phil, some final words from yourself? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd second what Alex said about filming yourself doing it. It's, uh, and it's an interesting process. I mean, I've just realised where Alex's comment about Michael Flatley came from because when we were in the process of filming some of these videos, I felt like Michael Flatley doing some of the jumps because it was quite interesting watching myself back. Um, for those of you who do take part in the in the programme, what I would say to you is it's very easy to think that you are better than the exercises that you see on screen. Um, but remember that this is a process. All houses are built on good foundations. If you miss those foundations and not implemented in place, that house will have problems. It will fall down at some point. So take it steady. You don't have to be the finished article straight away. Part of this process is building your body back into ready to play in volleyball. So even if you know you can jump high anyway, 
this is a point to train your body back into that process. So just follow the steps, take it steady. You will get better. And by, by following that program, being more coordinated, better timing, better movement mechanics, you'll be back playing volleyball before you know it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all back. And uh, hopefully this ter year turns out to be better for volleyball than the last year. Let's hope. Sorry, I've got some big hopes for this year. Um, Phil, Alex, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.